What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today we're going to be looking at a little vocal mix, checking out what the brand new Fat Channel plugins can do. Um, so I got this track, oh, if you haven't been by Studio1Tutorials.com and hit the Buy Sounds tab, you're playing with yourself, gotta go buy there and get yourself the Savage 808s, it's a sub pack because they smack. Now. Um, I got this little thing going on right now. I've already already went ahead and mixed it. Yeah, we go all night, baby. All night, baby, we'll go all night, baby. Yeah, all night, baby, we'll go all night. Uh, trolling me in a group text anyway so um yeah this um the the vocals um as you can see through the mixer channel i am using a strictly fat channel a little auto tune on on this one little ad lib here um a pro tip for you guys before i get into mixing this if you got if you guys got a singer who can sing well like like um, my dude the poet he can sing extremely well and what i mean by singing well is he can stay in key um all on his own like he doesn't need a lot of tuning like i'll, I'll go pull it up in melodyne and um you know do some fine you know do some fine tuning here and there um and normally when i get people's vocals and i pull it up in melodyne and i run and, and i run the polyphonic algorithm like dude like they'll be in a completely different key than the track but this dude this dude's always on like i, I might do like some light pitch centering um just to get you know that um that standard radio pop sound but that's something else so um this track i did i did the vocals all up all up on the fat channel and i am very very satisfied with how they came out now the first chain that i used um on the main vocal was i used the um i used the gate um j just the stock setting on the gate um this the the gate works really well these vocals are recorded in the middle of a one bedroom apartment right next to the kitchen um i had uh, had some struggles with my with my boy nick in the, <laughs> who tracks uh, um the poet uh because i mean like the first few sessions he'd be sending me like the tv would be on in the background they'd be washing his girl would be washing dishes i'm like yo bro you gotta regulate on your household you know you're trying to make you trying to make art you know and you got you got dishes in the sink in the background but now nah, i was tripping but um yeah man um this this gate kind of all the excess ambient noise just kind of knocks all that out so that's so that's really good um to have this you know as, as your first line of defense in the actual um in the actual chain um the next thing that i went ahead and added is i'm using the fet comp the uh the 1176 clone and i just went ahead i loaded up uh if, if you go here um It'll give you um, it'll give you presets for you know for the compressor, the EQ, and then and then all of these together will be like um, channel um, settings. So if you go to EQ Vintage, EQ Passive Compressor, or com Compressor Tube Compressor Fet, th that'll give you just just the um, the individual plugin, and all of these are going to be a chain. So you know I went went with the vocals preset. It was just a slow attack, you know, uh, pretty slow release. 4 1 ratio standard standard stuff pretty much where I would start out so I was like that's you know that's cool um went ahead and just adjusted the um the input on it 
which is uh, which is which is similar to the threshold on the regular compressor, and then you got to pull the output back. I really, it'd be really cool if they would link these though. That would be awesome. Or maybe maybe they're linked. I don't know how to use it yet. But I went from you know I went from this sound right here. Listens to me, yeah. If I give a good love and she comes like no other for me, the only problem is I don't settle, settle, yeah. The only problem is I don't settle to this one right here. If I give her instruction, she listens to me. Yeah. If I give her good love and she comes like no other for me, the only problem is I don't settle. Se and you see, I'm not doing like a crazy amount of compression. So that's, so that's really cool. Um, and then I went ahead and added, you know, I added some, uh, some high mids and, uh, some high frequencies, um, because the microphone that, uh, that these guys are using it's a it's a really damp mic um so i like to um i like to add that typically the plugin that i have been using for all these sessions has been the uh the slate custom eq around similar frequency ranges i just wanted to um i just wanted to to uh, test the cues on these and i was i was happy you know this this worked i didn't feel like i needed to switch out so that was good um then these guys down here um the uh the backing vocals the compressor the compressor that i used or i did i did similar compression and um similar eq on that nothing too crazy the backing vocals was where i went in with the um with the tube comp and um, on the limit setting and just really really smash them um, because that's the, that's typically that's typically what I do with a you know with a backing vocal because it's going to be set and far in the back I don't want um, it to get to when the dynamics of the vocal kick I don't want it to get lost um, at different parts and have to do a bunch of automation because I you know I have a tendency to be a little lazy when I'm mixing my vocals so what sue me yeah, but I've been known as one for two. so we got these guys I'm telling you I'm telling you baby yeah you baby huh I'm telling you baby yeah And then with it. I'm telling you, baby. Huh, I'm telling you. And it's the same on, on, on this side too. Young baby steady. Huh, yeah. I'm telling you, ready for baby. Me. Yeah. So um <clears throat> it works it, it works really good at doing what it's doing and that's just giving you like a really um you know flat squashing limiting effect and you know when you use it in context of of the entire vocal it's it's really nice to have to have those you know to be able to create a quiet part that doesn't get lost i've been known this one for too long i thought this was all for fun yeah she said rock rock steady yeah. baby your team ain't ready for me rock rock steady yeah. for me your team ain't ready baby rock rock steady baby so that's 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 why i would use something uh that one um and again it's really cool that that presonus added that into the fat channel um just because it's something it, it's it's something that i that i use on on every vocal mix like it's it's that process is always going to be there and to be able to have it in fat channel you know native plugins always play nicer with the DAW. um that is that is really cool um and look at it in the future guys i'm gonna i'm gonna create a vocal mixing product using only fat channel um get some get some really solid presets for you guys so you guys can just take off with this stuff um this one right here, this is this is the same thing. Just kind of crush this with the fat channel. Uh, because 
because the poet is such a good singer i don't like to go after that modern auto-tune sound with him i i, I feel like he's more of a he's more of a um a, a soulful modern artist so but i will like it, it's it, it's a cool it's a it's a fun thing that i do is i'll just search for that one ad lib somewhere in the vocals that i get back from them and uh and and just be like all right this is the auto-tune vocal boom you know and just throw it in that way it, it still maintains that level of um you know just that just that level of um of of just having a mo of having a, a modern sound to it um also another another trick that i like to do is um <clears throat> if you you know if we ever work together on a mix what i'm going to ask you to do is i'm going to ask you to you know you know send me send me stems of your of your entire mix and i want I want your vocal bus all together because because what I'll do is I'll take your vocal mix and just kind of tuck it way back in the mix, roll off um, you know, roll off 500, roll off uh, I didn't do it on this one, but I should probably roll off up to 100 and just and just kind of like have something that I could blend in parallel with it. It, it. you know, it helps out a little bit. If I give her instruction, she listens to me. Yeah. If I give her good love, and she comes like no other for me. Just a little, just a little something to add in there, and then um, I also like I also like for you guys to send me your um your effects buses because a lot of the times what I'll run into is 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 when somebody will mix a song with me or want to do a song with me, they've had it for you know three four five six seven months sometimes and they'll send it to me and just kind of like it, it you know um they'll be so used to hearing their effects and their timing and stuff like that that when i put my take on it they might not like it you know so if so if i can work you know with uh with you guys's reverbs and delays i'll just i'll just go ahead and put those on you know and, and save us both the, the the trouble of these revisions um going back and forth you know but yeah the the overall you know my overall take and the overall sound uh, you know this isn't like a full mixing tutorial of how to mix vocals but my take on the studio one um uh fat channel improvements is they're really good they're really really good um i was able and and i'm saying that in the context of i was able to mix a song not just force myself to do a video, but sit down this morning, mix a song, um, get a result that I like, get a result that my artist likes and his vocal producer likes, and you know, be able be able to move forward from here, man. So, um, if you guys are ha if, if you guys are have, I don't know if this comes an artist, um, but if you guys are having the three point five update and you are having a little trepidation about, well, you know, it's a stock plug and I don't think it's going to be as good as it, just. Give it a try because it worked fine for me, and um, I'm really um, I'm I'm really grateful for this update, man. This was this has been a really good update for producers and you know and audio engineers. I and that's all I got today, guys. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions Studio One Tutorials .com. Stop by the site, get yourself Savage 808s. They slap. Keep it simple. Don't be basic, and we'll see you on the next one.